All right. This is going to be a tutorial that will show you how to make save files or save states, as some call them, on Sacro. So, firstly, um, here I have a save state, a example of that, where every time that I load it, I will be placed in the same spot. Um, so this save file is right before Gyobu. I use this to practice the movement and such, but let me show you how to install the program first. Okay. So... If we head over to speedrun.com slash Sekiro, the link will be in the description, you can go to the resources tab and you will see this list of resources. There are two different save organizers, one that is for Sekiro only and one that is for all uh, games, basically. It is possible to make it work for pretty much any game. So this is the one that I'll show you how to use. The uh, process is going to be the exact same. Uh, but I believe this one is slightly better. So let's press visit link and we'll be sent to this page on GitHub where we'll find the download. I use Windows, so I'm going to download this one. Uh, if you use Linux, you'll download this one. And if the Windows one for some reason does not work for you, then you can try the bundled version. All right. So now that we have it installed, let me or we have the file download, let me close, and we'll find it in, sorry, we'll find the zip file in our downloads folder. So you unstrike the zip file with, with whatever program you want to use. I use 7-zip. Um, but, okay, it's giving me an error here because I already have it. So let me actually not do that. But yeah, basically, after you have extracted it, you'll give, get this and... This one you can just run. So this program, you can move it anywhere on your PC you want. It does not have to stay in any specific place. You can move it and everything will still be working. All right. So once we have it open, we'll be uh, in the menu where we can have our save files. So I have all my save files here, as you can see. Um, to actually configure a game, uh, which they won't be by default, when you download it, you have to go to edit games and uh, here you will be able to choose from the different from software games or add new games here. Um, so Sekiro, uh, these will be empty and these will uh, need to be configured. This top one needs to be where the location of your save file is, which I'll show how to get to in a moment. And this down here will be where you want to save all the save files that you create. They can become a little, like, um, large, like when you start making many of them. So I suggest that you place it on anywhere where you have some extra space. Okay, so to find this uh, save file location, it may give you it just by when you download it, but it's probably not. So let me start from my uh c folder from the c folder we have to go to users and then your username which can be whatever you know the pc is named and then from there you go to app data and you go to roaming and then you go to sacro here there will be a folder which can have a bunch of different names or a bunch of different numbers, it's different for everyone. And then inside it, we'll have this one, the S and then four zeros dot SL2. And this will be the one that you assign here. After you do that, it's gonna ask you for this, which is basically gonna be um, where you want the save files to be. Press yes if you uh, want to save them here and press no if you want to put your own, say your own folder. Yes, okay, that is the installation process. After you've installed, um, you are able to do import save state. So let me go back in the game. Um, so let me move up here and then let's not pick up the item. Then I'm gonna quit out and I'm gonna go over in my thing and I'm gonna import save state. And I'll just rename it uh, before item. You can name it pretty much anything you want. You just can't put symbols in there. 
Uh, and then we can just log back in. Um, and you can see that the item is there. Then I'm going to pick it up just to show the save file working. I'm going to quit out. Now we're going to load the save file. Okay, so to load a save file, you have to be on this main title screen menu. Because once you press any button, it's going to uh, go in and it's going to actually load your save file. Uh, or your save data from, uh, yeah, from the folder. So I'm going to load it. And then I'm going to head into the game. If you load it while you're here, for example, it will not take effect because uh, the save file and the save data has already been loaded and like injected into the game. So now when we go back in, the item will be there again. And you know, this would be true with the boss too. So you could practice the boss over and over again and these save files will be exactly in the place uh, of the state that they were where you created them. All right. So one more thing that I want to show is the replace feature. When you're on an, uh, a thing, you can press replace and it will replace the thing. You can also just delete them by you know right clicking and then delete. Um, right. Okay. So actually I have one more thing. Uh, if you are looking to create save files, you have to be wary that enemy aggro, uh, in this game will, uh, not update what's called the stable ground position. So in these games, um, there is like a fail safe that is track, um, safe fail mechanic that basically tracks where your last uh, safe location was or your last stable ground position. And this is used so you don't get stuck in some places, but it's also used so that you can't like cheese the stealth uh, mechanics of the game. So here, when I log back in, I'm going to get placed back to where I initially aggroed those enemies. This is something that you have to keep in mind when you're making your save file. So if you wanted to make a Gyobu save file, you would run up. And then you would have to wait for the enemies to de-aggro before you make the save file. This is something that you would discover on your own, but I'm... And you will probably experience it a few times when you're making your save files. Uh, but yeah, that is why that happens sometimes. So let me just wait for them to fully de-aggro. You could use the music as a cue. You can turn the music way up and then when the music stops, you're fine to quit out. So here I will make the save state. Oh, wrong button. Yobu. And then we'll go back in and we won't have moved. And uh, then that save file is good to go. We can go fight Yobu. All right. That was all. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing. Bye-bye. <laughs>